Hey Randomizer, welcome to another Artery Gear video. So this is going to be probably my most important video till now, okay? This is the uh, Artery Gear gear calculator, uh, version 1.0. It's ready for the public. And uh, what it'll allow you to do essentially is to input all the stats and the substats that you have, and it'll show you what your final numbers look like and allow you to swap between things so that you understand what your final unit is going to be uh, stat wise. So I'll just walk you through the entire process because I think uh, it's difficult to use um, for players that don't know what they're doing. But uh, before I start, shout out to uh, the original creators of this back then in CN. I think it was Dova and crew. And of course, it was refined by some of the uh, Discord people working on it. So Tori, Savi, and the Phoenix or Phoenix, I hope I didn't butcher your name. So we'll keep making uh, improvements on this. And I'll have videos updating uh, the uh, gear calculator. But um, recently, we just updated the visual and also added a gear score so we can better understand how your gear fares. So how to use, uh, I'll have a link in the description linking to this video, basically. And I'll walk you through, I guess, one unit and how to build it. So first of all, don't touch the gear calc. This is a backup of a backup. Don't touch this. Uh, use the template. So when you're trying to make a unit, always use a template. So let's say I wanted to build a uh, series. OK, so I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to say serious. OK, so this is my serious profile. So I'll just say user Tim. And uh, for my unit, it actually has most of the launch units with their base stats. So you can do this. Or if you have a series um, that is a bit different in terms of stats, I'll show you what you can do as well. So here you go to your units. And because my series is level 59, uh, let's just say it's not max level. okay? And also I have an imprint, right? You can see here I have the uh, the imprint. Uh, from one of the series tubes. So it's now naked, it got no gears. Uh, yep, so I'll take the stats and input it manually. So again, we go back to the, um, uh, one second, go back to the site. Okay, so I will input it in the base here. So 5.9, five, 5.9 nine, five, nine is my HP. 5.9, five, 5.9, nine, five, nine. attack is 1178. And uh, critical rate is at 26 right now. Critical damage 150. Don't have to change that defense at 549. And speed is 127. And resistance is zero. Perfect. So that is my serious stats currently. Uh, because mine is not 60, uh, that doesn't have the six awaken and also does not have um, the imprint. Uh, this thing, the calculator doesn't talk about imprints. And then for the current, this is where you enter your stance if you wanted to compare to what you have equipped, for example. So let's say I wanted to compare to a stat of 3000 attack, crit of 85, crit damage at 250, and at least um, 190 speed. Okay, so let's say this is the stat I'm, I have equipped and I want to compare. So you can see that if it's lower than the desired stat, it will be red. And when it's higher, then it will be green. Okay, so that's the side. And now I want to make sure that I have my series on a speed um, crit set. So there's no set three because speed is a four set. And speed crit is what I'm aiming for. Okay, so that is the set bonus. And now I'll switch back. And the next part is looking at what I have in terms of gear. So the best part about this is the in-game um, gear shows your substats, but uh, unless you upgrade all of them, you equip it to a character, you're not going to get the substat bonus, right? So you can't tell what your final stats look like before committing to like a plus 15. However, this way, you're actually allowed to understand what your final substats looks like uh, and make changes before you commit and upgrade everything. So let's take a look at uh, gear quality. So I want to slot like all the best gears I have. Um, into into there. So here is one gear that I really like. So that is a shield, which is slot three. Right. Okay. So I'll go to the calculator. I put my slot three stats in there. So the shield attack. Um, let's see. You don't have to put the main stack because it's already there. It's all there. So you don't have to worry about this. So it didn't have any attack, but it had a crit damage of 13.4%, uh, a crit rate of 13.5%, and an HP of uh, 766, and a speed of 14. And here you can see that our gear score is 27 to a maximum of 40, right? I think in the early game, anything above 20 is usable. Close to 30 is optimal. 
and of course 35 plus is like godly okay so that is my set for the shield and now going back to the game i want to look for something else so let's say i want a speed weapon any good speed weapons i remember i had one um that was decent but uh i wanted more offensive stats okay so let's just say i can't find one but I can get one from another set which I want to fuse into. So that is another part I'll cover in my gearing guide uh, about the fusing part. But uh, essentially what you want to do is find gears from the same boss. So let's say I have a really good, um, uh, let's see, I have a really good, let me find something that's actually decent. Okay, let's see here, this piece. So this is a hit set, right? Or status accuracy set, but I want a speed set. So I can convert those substats into another speed set gear by using the crystals. And again, this will be explained in my gearing guide. So this is part one of the gearing guide. And as I go through the videos with you guys, by the time the part three or four is finished, you'll be completely finished as a gearing master, okay? So this is the one I want to use. So what I want to do is put it on my core, that's a speed. So attack is 13.2%. Uh, and a flat defense of 85 and then a critical chance of 16 and a crit damage of 22.1 so you can see 23 not the worst but obviously not the best because it's two gold and two blue so because this requires a red uh, crystal to use t3 crystal i'm going to click that and then the source i'm just going to put, put accuracy core so you remember that this is from an accuracy core item right Oh, sorry, I, I didn't switch. Uh, so here, uh, I put the stats here, and then I click the red crystal, so I know that it requires one red crystal. And then um, the source is from an accuracy set core item. Okay, so just for keeping track. And you can see that based on what I have, and the set bonuses and max plus 15 on the main stat, this is the stat I'm already going to hit, right? So I can play around with this and see what the final stat is. Again, this is super, super important because when you play around with this, you'll, you'll be able to see um, your final stats before committing any upgrades. So no plus 15, not even plus three. And before committing any of the Rick crystals to do any fusing. Um, so I had this, uh, the version 0 0.5 when I was doing JP and it really helped. So we're going to refine this and keep improving on this for, um, for global as well. Um, so it's going to be a very, very good tool that I think everyone use. And of course, to use this, you just go file and make a copy and then you can use your own, have your own uh, template, duplicate that, have your own units and play around with everything. So hopefully this was clear enough. Uh, make sure you do the sets, make sure you select the correct main stats and make sure uh, you add the uh, numbers in. And if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment uh, for my... Uh, weekend streams or weekday streams i'll try to have some streams where i'm farming and then doing gears so you can see what's going on and better understand how to use this system but uh yeah um this is the start again like i've said the start of the gearing guide um i'll have more information on this oh i just wanted to get the calculator out because people were asking about it um and i wanted to refine it so I at least included the gear score so yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Uh, I have more more goodies coming out for the gearing series. And I heard you guys about having a gold guide and what that, oh, what not. Um, I'll try my best to create it as well, but uh, it's a lot of content lining up and I'm trying to, uh, trying to uh, get the highest impact ones out as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, this is Tim here, signing out.